All right, guys. So Swimbo had an idea that she was going to order five soaps, shave soaps, not tell me the f the flavor or anything, and uh, or the the scent, and I would just kind of go through and do like a blind review. So what we're going to do is we have them all in a box, and we're going to I'm just going to pick a random one, and I'll kind of judge the scent. I'm going to do like a one through five. Judge the scent, the texture, the feel of it. If it's whether it's soft or hard, and then I've got my um, we're going to do all of the shades with the same brush, same razor, same blade. Um, so my Ever Ready with the Shang Knot, my Black Beauty, uh, I think it's got a Gillette Silver Blue in there. There we go. So we'll just pick a random one. Today we're going to shave with soap. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna, here's the box, there should be five soaps in here, I don't know what any of the scents are, I don't know uh, the brands of them, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick this one, this was the first one I grabbed. It feels a lot smaller than a lot of the, the soaps that I have, so it might be, um, maybe less, I'll show you, this should be the front, I don't know if it's, yeah. But, let's see. Is it, it's a screw on, 10. It doesn't smell bad. It's a semi-soft, kind of tacky soap. It has just kind of a clean scent. Nothing, nothing that just pops out scent-wise, but yeah, just just a clean scent. I can't, I can't really put a nail on. I think once I lather it, I'll have a better idea of of what the smell is. But I'm gonna take just a almond-sized pinch out of here and throw it into my my bowl, and then I'm gonna have Swimbo take my. Uh, take this so that I don't see the, the brand of it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty soft soap, actually. That's probably plenty, plus some. So, I'm just going to get that pushed into my bowl. Nope. I like the, uh, I like the 10. I like the 10. It just feels... I really like the smell too. It almost just smells like a like a bathing bar soap. Yeah, I can't I can't put a finger on it, but um, a very light scent. Yeah. So we'll give this a shot. I'm gonna give this to Swimbo and let her hide it, so I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna film the shaving part of it. Um, I might take some photos of like the lather. Um, and maybe the before lather too, so you guys, well, I guess you could see it now. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but if not, I'll, uh, I'll, actually, is the soap, mm -hmm. is the soap away? Yep. Okay. So this looks a lot like, uh, like the first Canadian consistency, if you've bought any of the first Canadian soap. Yeah, so we'll give it a shot. So I've got my little doll up here into the bowl. Uh, I don't know if it's focusing on that correctly. Let's move some. So I've got my dollop here in the bowl, my lather bowl. Um, I've got my brush. 
just get a little wet. And so I'm going to grade this on a couple things. Uh, the smell, which unlathered, doesn't have much of a scent. It's not very strong. So unlathered, it might be a three. Um, it, it would be a two, I guess, if it was an unpleasant smell. But it's just, it's pretty faint. And then we'll also check it out after lather too. Uh, texture, I would also maybe give it a three. Um, I like it better than the really hard texture, but I don't care too much for the talky, kind of sticky texture. Um, slickness and latherability, we'll find out. And packaging and labeling, we already talked about. I really liked the feel of it. Let's just give it a go here. See if it... Uh, blossoms the scent at all once we get it lathering. Pretty airy lather so far. Might have used too much water on it. Well, I did use too much water it looks like. Let's try to get some more soap onto the brush. So it's got a pretty easy lather. Um, it's still pretty airy. I'm going to play with it a little bit more and try to get it uh, a little bit better. But as far as the scent, see if it changed at all. Um, not so much. It smells a little bit like the um, West Coast Shaving Ocean scent. Just that kind of clean, crisp scent. Um, actually the lather is really really nice on this now that we've got it worked around a little bit that's actually pretty nice so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna give that like a, I would say a four I mean it was a pretty quick easy lather um, the scent, I would still give it a three. It didn't change. Uh, it's almost got like maybe a floral scent to it. Um, so I wouldn't say that the smell changed too much. I'd still give it a three. Texture, of course, is the same three. We'll find out slickness when we actually get get shaving with it. But uh, latherability, I'd give a four. Packaging, I'd give a four. Um, texture, a three, and smell a three. So we'll give it a shave and find out how it goes. So we're done with the shave. We used the Ever Ready with the Shang, the Black Beauty with the uh, Gillette Silver Blue. I picked the Brute as my aftershave just from just from the scent. I didn't have anything that really matched it. It was a pretty soft, uh, light scent. Um, my notes here. So slickness, I gave it a two. Um, I, th I think that a little less water would have helped the slickness, maybe a little bit. But um, it was it was a pretty rough shave. It wasn't very slick at all. Latherability, I'd still give it a four because it lathered really quick. I mean, I mean, a couple set thirty seconds on there, and it was it was lathering. Um, texture three, smell three. We're gonna look at the labeling. I gave the packaging labeling a four by the feel, but we're gonna take a look at it and see. So I actually did get the uh, wet shaving products, rustic shaving soap. Uh, black amber vanilla. So I guess I could, I guess I can see vanilla in there. Um, I definitely had the rose. I definitely had like a, um, well maybe it doesn't have rose in it. Actually it doesn't have uh, ingredients lists. So we'll have to see, but there is some kind of like uh, fl floral scent in it. Um, all in all, not my favorite. I'll, have to, I'll give it another shot eventually, but um, just not a lot of protection it felt like so we'll have to see how it goes on the next one but for the labeling I still think that this is like a I would still say a four for um, labeling I really like the the way that the label looks I like how it was packaged I like that it's a twist top 10 I don't get a lot of those um, yeah rustic shaving soap black amber vanilla